Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Tech Talk Trio. I'm Huey, your enthusiastic guide through the ever-evolving world of technology. And I'm Dewey, ready to dive deep and maybe throw in a pop culture reference or two. Hello, listeners. Louis here. And today, we got a fascinating topic that's been making uh, waves in the AI. So... Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We're talking about the current state and direction of Autograph Project. Guys, have you been keeping up with the latest developments? You bet. Like watching a plot twist in a sci-fi movie, Otto Grok is uh, hitting some wall with uh, agent platforms it's targeting. Um, Indeed. The limitations of these platforms are prompting a complete rethinking of Otto Grok's architecture. Right. And you know what's exciting? They're considering turning Otto Grok into its own autonomous platform. It's a bold move. It's like when a band decides to start their own label to have full creative control. Remember when Radiohead did that? Good analogy. By becoming its own platform, Otto Grok can bypass external constraints and innovate more freely. Exactly. And get this, every time they start a new Grok project, they find themselves setting up the same infrastructure repeatedly. Um, oh, that sounds like when I have to reinstall all my apps after getting a new phone. It's a common inefficiency in development. Repetition can lead to errors and wasted time. So their solution is Ocking Crop. It's designed to streamline the setup process um, for new project. Think of it as a starter pack for Grok project. It includes all the essential tools so you don't have to reinvent the wheel each time. Uh, Pocket Grok is is more than just a tool. It's a fast thinking, web enabled, multimodal tool capable of chain of thought. I tried it out and it's impressive. If it was like having a personal assistant that anticipates your needs, it's like Jarvis from Iron Man. You it knows what you need before you even ask. It also addressed need for web search capability within Autobrock. Initially, they built an Autobrock web. <laughs> um, but they quickly moved to a native uh, Autobrock web search that doesn't require an agent. Um, and then they took it a step further by integrating the web search capability into Pocket Crop itself you know this iterative approach shows their commitment to refining and improving the user experience um what's cool is that these iterations led to um some handy gizmos through proof of concept experiments so uh you know it's like how nasa's uh space research ends up giving us memory foam mattresses and um scratch resistive lenses and it's kind of that that sense of innovations in one area can have unexpected benefits also. So now, with Pocket Rock, developers have a powerful tool that's not just fast, but also web enabled and multi -mode. And the chain of thought reasoning is a game changer. So it allows for more complex problems. Brings us to their latest project, Graxperts. Graxperts is mind blowing. Um, imagine being able to say, I need an expert who knows everything about stamp collecting and the and the system creates that expert for you. It's like hiring a consultant on the fly without the hefty fee. The system enters an introspective loop, analyzing what it knows and doesn't know about the topic. And and then it actively seeks out information to fill in the gaps, even using web searches. So it's not just sitting there waiting to be fed information. It's it's proactively gathering data. This approach aligns with the ideas discussed by Dr. We had Carlos Omaifa here in his two minute paper series. Right. So and uh, and he talks about creating tiny autonomous specialists that pursue the answers they need. and. They pursue. It's a shift from static agent to dynamic self-improving system. And it's a far better solution than generating teams of static agents that might not adapt well. It's new problem. So speaking of adaptability, remember how Strawberry 01 can create a 3D video game without a specialized gang agent. Yeah, it just acts like one. But that requires massive computational resource. For local users, that's not practical. They need smarter, more efficient solution. Um, so that's where Copy Grok and Grok for shine. Um, they provide advanced capabilities without the need for supercomputers. It's democratizing AI development, making high-level tool accessible to more people. Let's delve deeper into Pocket Grok's feature. Sure. Here we so one of the 
standout features is the chain of thought reasoning. So I tested it by asking a complex math problem and it broke down the solution step by step that's invaluable for debugging, learning, and explaining concepts. Plus, it supports multiple language models, including Grok, ChatGPT, and Alma. And you can even create your own provider model to integrate with preferred LLM. The flexibility is impressive. It also has a web for web searches and content. I love that feature. And it makes gathering information so much easier. Um, it's like having a built-in research. Exactly. And the best part is that it's open source free. That's a big deal. It lowers the barrier to um, entry for developers. You know, this whole project reminds me of the open source movement in the 90s. Oh, like when Linux started gaining traction? Yeah, it empowered developers by giving them tools they could modify and distribute. And look how far that movement. Open source software is now integral to tech infrastructure. So Autobrot's evolution could have a similar impact on AI development. You know, paving the way for more collaborative and innovative projects. Let's not forget the community aspect. There are nearly 8,500 developed worldwide in auto. And that's a significant user base contributing to its growth and proof. So I want the collective knowledge and feedback from that many users can drive rapid advance. And with tools like Pocket Rock, they're making AI more accessible and practical for real world. And then speaking of real world applications, have you guys seen how Pocket Rock can be used in image analysis? Yeah, it supports vision models like Lava V1.57 B4096 Preview. That's useful for tasks like image captioning and content description. Imagine integrating that into a project where visual data analysis is crucial. Like an autonomous vehicle or medical imaging. The possibilities are expansive. Another aspect of mentioning is the error handling in Pocket Rock. Yeah, it raises custom exceptions for better air. That's essential for building robust applications. And they have a comprehensive test suite with a many-driven interface. Which makes it easier for developers to ensure everything is working as intended. A quality control is often overlooked, so it's good to see that emphasized. All these features contribute to making AI development more streamlined and efficient. It reduces the time spent on setup and troubleshooting, allowing more focus on innovation. And so bringing it back to uh, Autograph becoming its own autonomous platform, it's clear they're addressing not and just current limitations, but also future challenges. They're thinking ahead, which is crucial in this rapidly changing field. It's like they're building a foundation that's adaptable to whatever comes next. And that's the hallmark of sustainable technology development. I'm excited to see how Crocsperts will evolve. The idea of on-demand experts is groundbreaking. Imagine the educational application. Their students could have of personalized tutors for any such or in professional setting where specialized knowledge is needed temporarily it's like having you know team of consultants available at any time and it aligns with the trend towards more personalized and adaptive technology before we wrap up any final thoughts just that you know Otterbark's journey is a testament to the power of continuous innovation. And it shows how obstacles can lead to breakthrough when approached creative. Well said. It's an exciting time to be involved in AI and tech development. Absolutely. Uh, for our listeners interested in exploring these tools, check out the GitHub repositories and online. So that's how you're going to. And don't forget to join the community on this. This is a collaboration is key. And thanks for joining us on this deep dive to Autogrock and Pocket Rock. Stay curious, folks. Until next time on Tech.co. Autogrock, Autogrock, Autogrock. Auto